Uh, we're making an old fashioned, but we're doing it with peach and black cherries from Colorado. Okay. So, uh, start off with a chilled glass. We will add two and a half ounces of bourbon or rye if you prefer prefer one over the other. Uh, tonight okay. I'm using Woody Creek rye. Um, we're gonna do one sugar cube. Uh, just drop it right there in the shaker. Uh huh. Uh, instead of just muddling something, I find it's easier to just put it in the shaker. Uh, so it it kind of like makes one less messy thing in the kitchen, right? Um, a little bit of ice in there. We're gonna do two ounces, two shakes. I'm sorry, of Angostura bitters. So one, two. Uh, two dashes of orange bitters. We're using mm -hmm. strong water again from Colorado. Uh, shake that up. And I actually have a, a really beautiful ice cube from Jimmy's bodega up in Aspen, Colorado. Oh, wow. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy makes really incredible ice. Uh, it's, it it's, yeah, it's, it's exceptional. Uh, and you can either strain it. Uh, some people like it chunkier. Some like it a little bit finer. I'm going to double strain it personally. Uh, it's all personal preference, though. So we'll put that mm -hmm. in. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to do tonight, uh, just to kind of fancy it up a little bit, is uh, I'm going to brulee wow. uh, some peach. Uh, and some Luxardo cherries. So just roast that up. Drop it okay. right in there. And now you have a perfect little uh, summer whiskey. Yeah, I love it. Beautiful. So you forgot to send me my kids. So how am I supposed to taste this? Huh? <laughs> What's the question? Where is my kit? So I can make it with you. Next time. Next time, Next Friday, because I love those drinks. Tonight we're gonna. Tonight we're just gonna be doing some of the more classic cocktails that uh -huh. everyone's heard of, but maybe not everyone knows how to make. So okay, Very cool. so what you guys need is to go to Witty Creek Distillery, get the box, the kids box on Friday. Okay, I have all my alcohol here. You know, can you see it? I got all my things and my sanitizer too. Okay, so stay tuned for the second cocktail later, right? We have two cocktails we're doing tonight, right? Uh, we're actually gonna have three technically because we're gonna okay. be doing martinis later. So we'll have a okay. vodka and a gin one. Okay, so I see you later, alligator. Now we're gonna be busy cooking. We're gonna be cooking. All right. See you later. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Chef. All right, thank you, Chef. Thank you. So we have only started with Billy Bourguignon. Okay, I don't know why I speak like an American, Booth Bourguignon. You know what Chef Chris said to me the other day? So I sent him I sent him a text and I I put beef bourguignon and then he was he's like, What is this? How dare you? It say, bro. <laughs> what did you say? So à la bourguignonne. No, à Alex? la bourguignonne. Okay. Oh, so you know, it's supposed to be à la bourguignonne. So. C'est beau, beau bourguignon. Both both of them work. Uh, both of them work really well. Beau bourguignon okay. or uh -huh. à la bourguignonne, but it's not beau bourguignon. It's more sexy. It's more elegant. Yeah, like, yeah. Beau à la bourguignonne. Okay. Bourguignonne. You get the sexiness, the French, you know, elegantness. <laughs> Owner his house there. Okay. So let's start. You get your pan hot. Well, actually, it looks like Alex. everybody got it. So we're gonna sear the bacon. I mean, sort of the bacon. Bacon. What did I do? Oh. Bacon. Okay. Is that capostro? Madame Moitié. Okay, we got our bacon in. Okay, everybody has their bacon in. Hello, everyone. I see some repeat. Hi, hi, Tracy. I can see you. <laughs> hi. So we are going to 
to do our bacon up the back. Okay. Is the, anybody is making trout manier? Anybody is doing trout? One. Flip one. Only one. I think we had some trouble finding the trout today. So yes, maybe uh, two people. I know Shelly was trying two, to find okay. some. Three, three, four, five. Okay, five people out of like 100 people. Okay, we are deep country. My we friend Shelly, <laughs> Shelly did her best. Shelly, nice try. But the, okay. we're kind of limited, I think. With okay. some of this, the grocery store You can here. replace it. I mean, next time you can use something else. Huh? What would you uh, like? Oh, a, yeah, what would I use? Like a white, some sort of flat white. Yes, so yes, like a, a, a striped, you know, the, 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 the striped bass from here? Sure. Yes. That would be good. That yeah. Colorado striped bass. The Colorado striped bass next time you can use. <laughs> from Alamosa <Malum> <laughs> County? Malum yes, Lisa? so it's really, really, really good. Yeah. Also, so once your bacon is done, you need to uh, take it out, but you're gonna keep the fat. Fat is flavor. Okay. So once your bacon is done, okay, make sure you have a towel. Sure. Play a towel. Okay, so we, you know, the drip gonna be in there. Okay. Okay, can you see my bacon? It's not ready yet. Okay, we want it more crispy than now. Also, please make sure you have your oven at 375 because we're gonna put the whole thing in the oven and then move on to the mashed potatoes. So if you have your husband next to you, what you need to do is tell him, okay, please peel the potatoes, okay? And put them in the water with salt. Okay, so we're gonna make the mashed potato. We're gonna multitask. If you don't have help, use your children. Okay, Evan, come here. Use your children. It's legal. Make them work. Like I have my niece here, she needs to work. Okay, use the whole family. That's why we all cooking together. So everybody together at the same time. Okay? Oh my God, I think I have my dad in there. And I have my brother too. Okay, can you someone zoom in on my brother? Mo, zoom in on my brother Mo, please. Oh no, that's my mom in Paris. <laughs> hi, Paris. Hi. <laughs> that's my mama. Okay, that's Mama Mawa. <laughs> and my brother Jeff, he's a chef too. Okay. And then who else? Okay, that's my brother from Ivory Coast. Solo. Yes. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Where's what? Mo? <laughs> uh, so who else do we have there? Who else we have international? Because those people are not sleeping. Okay, it's two o'clock in Paris and they join us. That, that's awesome. Okay, am I burning the okay. bacon? This is what I always do. I'm talking and I'm burning. So, hi, Barbara. Barbara Tila. Hi, Barbara. How's it going? Hi. Just going good? Okay. okay. I don't see your pot. You cooking the bacon? Yeah, I'm cooking the bacon. Okay, awesome. Okay, keep going. So who do we have next? Who do we have next? Ellen. Ellen. <laughs> Ellen, did you go to bed? <laughs> because I only see kitchen here. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. <laughs> Cindy. Cindy, hi. <laughs> okay. So make sure your bacon is crispy. Okay? Okay. Take each make piece sure of piece of bacon yes. and cook it on one side and flip it over individually with a no, I don't think you have to do that. With <laughs> yeah. It's getting close. It's getting close. It's getting close. So meanwhile, you're doing the mashed potato. We're going to multitask, OK? We're doing mashed potato at the same time. OK. So is it beef burger your favorite dish? That's one among them. Parmi is definitely one of them. It's oh, delicious. I love it. OK. Yeah. And then what wine would you use to cook? 
Uh, to cook? Yeah. Well, why would, what I used to cook with? Whatever mm -hmm. Alex, like you whatever <laughs> Alex recommends <laughs> is what I would. Whatever so, Alex recommends. So I would think from what Alex is telling me, maybe because we're to do this as a dish from Burgundy, we would mm -hmm. take something that is from Burgundy. Alex, what would we, what would we choose? Give me that one over there. That one, this one, no, 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 this one in uh Oh yeah, because that one's not from. Yeah. So. No, no, sa, 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 sa. So? Well, sa. Yeah. Okay. Cook with whatever so, we can get. My husband, he's a cheap, cheap, cheap. I'm on a budget. Okay, he's like, uh, okay, this is free. So you're gonna cook with rich wine from California. Okay, I'm embarrassed oh. because I'm I, French. I'm supposed to cook with French wine, it's so but it's okay. We <laughs> love America, okay? Good. So oh. this is the wine that we're using from the box, Over, people. Um, okay. You know where it's you good. Go it's good. Oh, yeah. And then you go up. A, a, Any question, there. anybody? Yeah. Like up Red before mountain. you get to the, before you get to where the. Rena, are you talking to somebody? Is Rena on the phone? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey. I was muted. Hey. <laughs> Hey. It's okay, honey. If you want to be heard, you just shout it out, baby. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay, Jennifer. Okay. Question? Okay. Alex. Chris, Alex. Hello. Okay, I have a I'm question. Ready, ready. Okay, Jennifer. Should we be cooking the bacon in a pan like that or in the pan that we're, the big pot that we're going to be cooking the bourguignon? The big pot that you're going to be cooking on. Yes. We are limited in space, so. On pot, actually, I must say. I was saying you were good. Okay, so it should be look like this, people. Okay, so you take it. You put it in a towel to drain it. Do like you don't like fat, okay? I love fat. Fat is good. Lardon, yes, that's actually true. We say lardon. We use, you're never going to hear someone say lardon in French, you, you know, like, Bacon in French, we're gonna use lardon. Ça c'est vrai, lardon. C'est plus sexy okay? de ce So now, what we're gonna do is the beef. Okay? On va le bœuf. Après, on va mettre les oignons. On va mettre tout. On va mettre tout. On va mettre tout. On va juste sauter. Okay, please put your beef and then, and then, uh, you know, saute. Any question? Everybody's following so far? Everybody's following so far? The beef goes in the bacon fat. Beef goes into bacon fat, please. Yes. Beef go into bacon fat. We have already seasoned. Yes. You're, yes, you already seasoned your beef with salt and pepper. You go into, okay, we're gonna sear it a little bit. So we put our bacon on the side. We're gonna get back to it later, later, later. Almost when it's finished, okay? Yes, yes. Make sure you wash your hand because beef. Like five minutes. <laughs> you use the quick distillery sanitizer. It's very good. Okay. So, any question, anybody? Everybody's following. Huh? Oh my goodness, my sister is here. Can you zoom in to my sister from uh, the south? <laughs> Val Rose. Val Rose. Nice. Oh, la, 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 la. of friends. Allez. Where is she? Bye. We have all the French Hi, people, y'all. Okay? Today, it's French. Next week, it's going to be Germany. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> So, oh, that's yeah. awesome. So you get to know my family, you know, so everybody's in France. They're watching to make sure I know how to cook it. I do it the right way. I don't embarrass them. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Hold on. I don't know something we cook at all. What was the question? Huh? If the potatoes have been stopped. Yes. Can you put your potato in the pot with water, salt, and bring it to boil? Yes. 
Yes. Did you hear worship, Krista? Everybody got it? We are multitasking. Now well, I'm letting a few more people in. Okay. Okay. All right. So what is your favorite dish in your restaurant? I know what, yeah, cash, cash. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you don't want to know. You put the menu together. What is your favorite dish really in your restaurant? Yes. Really like what is that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, gratin, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's wonderful. We have a few tabs liver that we have already that I really like. It's my top one. And the foie gras. Please, the mm. foie gras terrine. Yeah. Uh uh. Homemade. It's delicious. Like, it's to die for. I love it. Okay, I go there on a special occasion. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I have friends. <laughs> it's excellent. Um, it's whenever Mama is a cat cat, <laughs> it is a special occasion. Yes, I can promise you that. <laughs> so make sure you turn it. You turn the beef. Okay, turn the beef. Turn your beef. Sierra, turn it. See, everybody's doing it. I love it. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> okay. So everybody get it? Everybody has it? Oh my God, can you zoom on my dad, please? My dad is in the house. My whole family today, you're all gonna see my whole family. Sorry, but that's what it is when you do. Hi, dad. Can you unmute him? Je vous vois bien. C'est très content ce que tu fais. Oh, parle en anglais, s'il te plaît. Hi, everybody say hi. Hi, everybody, hi. everybody. Hey. Oh, oh, hi. Good. Hi. What is the question? Ah, ben. <laughs> um, what, 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 are, what are you, are you cooking now? Uh, bourguignon. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, Cindy, I'm listening. Well, um, it, it's my bad. Um, I did not buy potatoes. Okay. I did not see them on the list, but I've got okay. sweet potatoes. Can I do sweet potatoes? Yes. Sweet potatoes, yes, absolutely. Potatoes. Absolutely, yes. Do the uh, same way. Good. <laughs> please. Awesome. And you can, you know what? You can do pasta too if you want pasta. The beef bourguignon go well with pasta. Yeah, you know, egg really. pasta, it's excellent with it too. Great. So, okay. So, yep. okay. Awesome. Hi, Dad. Hi, <laughs> Hi Dad. <laughs> good. <laughs> Don't worry. Just because we're doing friends, everybody is now. <laughs> okay. okay, so have you seared your beef? Everybody seared the beef? And Chris and couldn't hear what you were saying about your favorite dish at Kashkash. Kash. Okay. Um, your favorite dish at Kashkash. Kash. favorite dish at Kashkash. Kash. Uh, it's probably, I love the, the terrine de foie gras. It's delicious with the raspberry preserves. Mm -hmm. um, I also, the, our rack of lamb is just special because it's, it's highly allocated from Colorado, so the piece of meat, the piece of meat itself is unbelievable. Um, and uh, we serve that with uh, Dijon mustard crust, with fresh herbs, which are what we have here. The rosemary, yep. um, sage, yeah. and we use thyme are our three herbs that we chop up and then crust it with, and then roast it in the oven. That's one of my favorites. But um, I do like, you know, we have a cash cash normally, and this season we'll probably start off with less with specials, but uh, we'll be opening up on June 18th. Um, June 18, we, your people, June 18, you need to make reservation <laughs> now because they only have two tables in that restaurant. 
You understand? Make your reservation now. So maybe you'll be seated by November. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Alex, I think we have three tables, right? <laughs> we just Take your beef, y'all. We your just beef. extended to four with the outside. Yeah, four with the outside. We have the outside. Okay. But we will open up with our core menu, which is kind of cool. So, you know, we have a frisée salad. We have a beet salad, beet and goat cheese salad that will be on the menu. Uh, we'll do a couple of, we make all our pastas in-house. We'll do a couple of our pastas. Uh, we'll, I like the veal, we have a veal, veal cheek ragu pasta. We use local 7X, which is delicious for the beef. For that. It's all good <laughs> um, But yeah, what those, uh, so those are kind of our classics. And then we usually add to that with our specials. Okay. Um, I'm getting a facial. We are getting a beautiful facial here. So this is how your beef is supposed to look like. Smell delicious. It's stirred. Okay. That's how it's supposed to look like. Okay. Good. Now you put it in that pan. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So after that, keep talking, Chris. Come on, Chris. Okay, next. Okay. Onion. Yes. Carrots. Okay, we put it in the pan. I put both. Carrots. Okay, because we want to eat tonight. We want to eat. We don't want to wait. You're just going to seal them. Okay. Everybody's catching up. Yeah, I'm seeing some yes. pot. I'm seeing some people. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Keep going. Okay. Chris went to the bathroom. I'm just saying. I told <laughs> oh, he's back. My he's back. hair is getting in the way of uh, the microphone. I'm not sure. Tu es beau, ma biche. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. I love my granola, too. Thank you very much. So. Uh, it's finished? Next. No, it's not finished yet. Yeah, okay. No, no, everybody, can I see the pot? Okay, I'm seeing okay, people. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody, ha are you following? Everybody did it? We keep yes. going? I think we did the team swinging two legs right now. <laughs> are you I love seeing everybody cooking together. Awesome, awesome. Okay. So we're just gonna saute it a little bit and then we're gonna put it right back to the pot, okay? It doesn't need to be fancy. We just wanna sweat it a little bit, okay? <laughs> okay. Awesome. Ready. Let's do it. I'm gonna count one to 10 and then we put everything back to the pot, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Now, okay. yes. Ellen has a question, I guess. Okay, question. Ellen. Ellen, I see your back, my girl. <laughs> I didn't change the question. Ellen. Ellen. Yeah, Ellen. Ellen, go. Want you want Ellen? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You have a question? I was just, no question. <laughs> 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 okay. We use the Dutch oven to sear. Okay, awesome. Okay. Crispy bacon. I'm telling you, this is two people job. This is not one, it's a labor of love. So I'm gonna start charging a thousand dollar for my beef burger at my restaurant and you two right. do the same. <laughs> So once you do that, okay, it's going to look like this. I hope you can see. 
Ok, Chris, tu vas tout. Non, non, je crois que c'est fini. Ah non, 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 c'est pas fini. C'est pas fini. Allez, ok, you need to put the, the another pen on. Another one. On. We're gonna saute the mushroom and do the onions, ok? The pearl onion. Yeah. You can rest it like Chris doing, see? That's a good technique. So you have everything in the pot. So you are going to add, I'm putting the garlic. I didn't even chop it. Okay, garlic. My pearl You're onion. You're gonna know why. Just saying. Hmm? I did not. Oui, oui, oui. Oui, oui, I don't want to talk. I'm going to plant, plant, Okay, so tomato paste. My brother is saying, ah, this is not how. Jeff is mm. saying, this is not how because he's a chef in a fancy restaurant in Paris. We do it American way. We do it always American way. You understand, Jeff? No. Okay, <laughs> all right. Can't wait to cook with you. He's a fancy, fancy chef. He don't make sandwich, okay? He make the kind of thing, you know, there's a, a one flower that is on the plate. And then you pay a lot of money and you, you still need to go to home team barbecue after that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <so. laughs> okay. So you put your tomato, you're gonna put your, your herbs, thyme, bay leaf. Okay, we're gonna keep the parsley for later. <laughs> Then, Merci. Cindy, yes, love. You're good? You're golden. Can I see your, you say you're golden. I want to see it. I want to yeah. see your pot. Can I see your pot? <laughs> <laughs> I see, uh, well. In a personal, but yeah, you can. <laughs> oh, awesome, beautiful wow, wow. Oh, yeah. You're oh, good. yeah. Okay. So, the yeah. beef stock, okay? And I'm gonna put a, a little bit of water in there. Oh, no, 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 we don't put the wine, please. Wine now, wine time. Don't be shy with wine. the wine. You need to be generous with the wine. You see, I have this box. Since my husband is a cheap ass. Oh, yeah. I, shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. I will use the whole bottle, so you're gonna have to buy another one. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what? Ça c'est voilà. bon. Ouais. À l'américain, s'il vous plaît. C'est pas du bon jaja. Jaja. <rire> c'est du, du vin de Bourgogne. Okay. C'est du, du vin de Bourgogne. Ah ben. Non, non. ça c'est du vin de, de Californie, papa. D'accord. Ça c'est pas du vin de Bourgogne. Oui. Ça, le vin de Bourgogne, c'est à boire. Normalement. C'est à cuisiner. Non, normalement, vous mettez du vin de Bourgogne. OK. So, once you've done that, you're going to put... We put a little bit of water. We can put water as we go. Yeah. So, we're going to close it and put it in the oven. Everybody do the same? Yeah. OK. And then we're going to stir it occasionally. There you go. You have your beef burger again. Yes. Yeah. We didn't miss something. How much wine do you put in? The whole bottle? How much the recipe say? <laughs> because I'm not reading the recipe. I just go because I know how to do it. One bottle. So you put the whole bottle in? Put That's the whole it. bottle in. Be generous, girl. Be generous. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that was your second oh, bottle of wine. <laughs> okay, if you want it to be kept faster, don't put the lid on it, okay? Or you're gonna be eating at nine o'clock. <laughs> All right? So I'm putting it in uh, our fancy Galgeno or Gal Gagano. I'm waiting for someone to tell me how to pronounce it. Mawa. Okay. Mawa. Mawa. Question? A lot of wine. Oh, yes. Wait, I have another question. Did you say put water in there? 
Bit. If you don't need it, don't put it right now. You need to wait until later. Put wine first, and then and water, a little bit of water. Did I miss the garlic? And then we're gonna paste. It needs to look like a stew. Did you put tomato paste in there? Yes, I put tomato paste, onion, Got bay it. leaf, thyme. Basil. Okay. Basil. No, I didn't. Well, I'm all And don't put your parsley in there. Actually, you know what? If you want, you can put, put only this part of the parsley. But not this part. Not this part because we're going to use it as a garnish. You can put this one in there. Okay, give good flavor. That's your tip for today. Because I'm not going to give you all my secret. What do you think, Chris? Okay. So we have this one on the, on the stove. And now we're going to do the mushroom. Okay, you should have your beef in the oven and your potato boiling, okay? So now we're gonna saute the mushroom and then we're gonna saute the pearl onion for later. Everybody's following? Boy. That's all they awesome. Know. So, great. Yes, Nobody's late today. Any question, people? The more you drink, yeah. So right now, what are we going to do? We're going to go to Woody Creek Distillery. We need a cocktail. Then Alex can tell us about wine. And then we go back to the cooking. We need a break, people. Because, <laughs> you know, your husband going to hate you. And like, I'm always on the, <gasps> doing all this beef burger. And you're so tired. And so they need a break. Give them a drink. Don't give a drink to your child, please. <laughs> awesome. Hi. Hey, Paula, I need Hi. Uh, two minutes. Uh, okay, two minutes. Okay. It's so fine. we're going to switch. Alex? Please. Alex? Tell us about the wine, please. When your other selection. By first, first of all, you know, the selection that you already have on your uh, countertop works uh, well. Yeah, you that's me. Where are you? The, yes. The so you know, like a, like like a tip a tip for everybody um, who's um, who has problems or are questions about wine pairing. Oh. Um, one of my one oh. one of my advice uh, that I give to uh, to people just think you know uh, about the geography of the dish that you are uh, cooking or you're ordering in a restaurant. So. Wherever the dish is from, most likely mm -hmm. the, the wine, you know, that comes from the same region would be uh, definitely a great pairing. So, you know, we are in Burgundy. We are cooking a... Uh, a Burgundy. Alex, people don't know where Burgundy is. They don't know. Uh, how do I do? I go to MapQuest or to see where my thing from? Well, you You're know... That I'm not that smart, it, right? It's true, but just, just, just think in, in mind, for example, if you're having... A an osobuco, it's Italian. Uh, okay. A bolognese, it's Italian. You have a paella, well, that's uh, you know Spanish. You are having so uh, barbecue ribs, that's uh, you know southern, uh, <laughs> southern dish from the United States. Um, you're having, you know, just think if you're having seafood, well, you're close to the sea, correct? You're close, so there's some white wine that can go from uh, the same region. So for a lot of people, what I'm trying to say is uh, think about where the, where the dish might come from. And uh, most likely you pair with the wine that comes from the same region, you know, to make it, to make it easy without, you know, going into all the ideas about the protein, mm -hmm. you know, the fat, the lipids, everything that comes into play. So tonight you're preparing mm -hmm. above Bourguignon so for, for a Boeuf Bourguignon, where does that come from? It's Burgundy, correct? Burgundy is the birthplace for Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir comes from uh, Burgundy as a Pinot well. Noir. Uh, Pinot Noir. 
So Pinot Noir uh, was born in uh, was born in Burgundy. This is the the birthplace of it, and uh, that's where the greatest uh, Pinot Noirs in the world uh, come from, of course. But you know, with different flavors. And not, not everybody might enjoy. Not, not everybody might enjoy the um, you know the earthiness Et le potato, là, ça va? or the dryness of a Pinot Noir. So here mm -hmm. uh, you want a wine that definitely shows a little bit more character. I picked up for you this evening a uh, Gevray Chambertin. So okay. this is this is a Gevray Chambertin from the town of Gevray Chambertin from the Côte de Nuit. You know, this is a wine that is a little bit more muscular, that shows the red fruit character of the Pinot Noir, the cherries, the strawberries, the raspberries. Um, but also, bear in mind that uh, there's uh, some uh, forest floor, mushroom attribute. It is a medium body with a, a little bit of tannins. So that goes well with the, the savory tone. After the potato. After the mashed potato. Because it's it so goes fast. really well with the savory tones of the... Um, um, of the dish, you know, the, the, the carrots, the onions, the bacon fat. For, uh, for somebody who, uh, who says, well, you know, Pinot Noir might not be enough, might not be enough. Um, we can play also with a, a Syrah. So this is a Syrah. Oh. This is okay. a, this is a, this is a Syrah from the Northern Rhone. So, so again, we stay in France. We are in the Northern Rhone. This is a Syrah. And uh, here it's more about the blue and black fruit, the blueberries, the mulberries, the, you know, the cooked, you know, we have figs. We have uh, also some bacon fat in this, in this wine with a lot of lavender. This is a highly aromatic wine with uh, lavender, violets, lilacs, medium to full body, cracked bell pepper on the finish that really emphasize you know, on the savory tone and the spices that you're cooking with. Awesome. Okay. So, so as a sommelier. Yes. You know, I'm very intimidated by sommelier, even though, you know, I work Indeed. with sommelier. You know, they're a little intimidating, okay? Like, Indeed. so well, how do I, you know, when I go to a restaurant, I don't want to spend too much money, but I feel like when you go there and then, the sommelier come over it's always like super expensive so so how do i get that out of my mind like like i don't want to spend like i'm not a billionaire so i can't spend like a thousand dollar on a bottle sure. of wine so so how do you teach people tell people that it's not about money sommelier yeah. are what they are there for it's not you're, to sell you the most expensive wine you're, you're, you're absolutely like you told right. me you, 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 you're absolutely right, uh, Mawa. You know, when uh, a, a lot of people, and that comes, you know, also from, uh, you know, historically, uh, sommeliers were very pretentious, um, you know, very pompous, always dressed in a tuxedo with a little, uh, you know, test of vin. And, uh, you know, it, it was a very difficult conversation to have with a, uh, with a sommelier. Nowadays, nowadays, um, it completely morphed and, uh, you know, with uh, the resurgence of, you know, the profession itself in terms of how approachable we are, and we are part of the experience of a restaurant. We want, we want the customers, the clients to, uh, to come to a restaurant. We want to be part of the whole uh, experience and you enjoy, regardless, you know, of the price point. The price point is important, yes, because we don't we want to make sure that uh, you know you feel comfortable with it but you know nowadays there are so many uh, wine regions in the world that, that does great wine we have a lot to pick from you know so what i'm saying is don't be afraid to engage uh, the sommelier or the wine director don't be don't be afraid to, to ask uh, questions mm -hmm. you know and uh, please you know feel bear in mind as well that we worked really, really hard to put together a wine list. So we tested the wines, we tested the food, and therefore we know what works with what, you know, within the parameter of this uh, wine list. So never be afraid to ask the questions and uh, create a relationship 
you know, with uh, the sommelier, the wine director, the wine steward, you know, however you want to call the person and uh, create this relationship. And as you create this relationship and you come back and you feel more and more comfortable, you will be able also to experiment with uh, different uh, one, you know, regions, different varietals that uh, maybe, oh, I only like Pinot Noir. Yes, but have you ever uh, tried a Pinot Noir from Oregon? Have you ever tried a Pinot Noir from New Zealand, for example? and um, experimented uh, with these wines and start opening your mind to the beautiful uh, uh, wine regions that are creating great wines around the world. And, uh, you know, at one point of the conversation, you can mention uh, price. You know, it shouldn't be, um, it shouldn't be taboo either to, uh, to express, you know, what is the price point that you feel comfortable with. You know? So, Alex, Alex, yes. I'm going to ask you a question. Sure. Someone like me, go to Cash Cash. Yes. Okay, I'm on a budget, okay? This is, I'm taking my husband, you know, because there's a... One of the four, one of the four tables? Yeah, this is one of the four tables, and I want a wine that's 50 bucks. Can I get it? For how much? $50. No problem. <laughs> no problem. You have a wine? So, no, are you understand now? Absolutely. Cash Cash has a wine. Bottle one, you can get 50 bucks. Absolutely. Okay. You know, okay. it, see, I didn't know that. Yes. I mean, uh, the, pr the price point starts at about $45. You know, some people. See, I didn't but, know that. Yeah. But, you know, a, you know to, make a, to make a wine list could be pretty easy if you only target the greatest wines in the world. Everybody can, uh, you know, all of us can put a wine list together of the Mouton Rothschild, the Screaming Eagle, the Harlan Estate, you know, the Morachés, we all can do that. But the true work of a wine director is to taste as well and bring people in where they feel comfortable within the wine list and, and you know, really, really uh, pinpoint a wine that is a great value regardless of the price point, but a great value, it has to be a lot of wines. And when, when I taste wines, I am looking for wines that taste more than their cost. You know, it can be a $5 bottle of wine, it can be a $20 bottle of wine, it can be a $2,000 bottle of wine. But for me, it needs to taste, it needs to give me, a, you know, a lot, of, uh, a lot of pleasure. And I'm thinking, wow, I tasted this $5 bottle of wine. It tastes like a $20 or a $25 bottle of wine. That's fantastic to find this. But it's a lot of work because you have to you have to uh, taste a lot of wine, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> awesome! Thank you so much, Chris. I uh, see you later. Thank you, Sean. Are you ready for me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, one, one minute before I get to Sean. Are you cooking your potatoes? If it's cooked, just put it on the side. Okay, the pot on the side while Sean is doing um, the other cocktail. And then we're gonna make mashed potato. So Woody Creek is in the house. I'm ready for my cocktail. Yeah. I'm ready, <laughs> Woody, I'm ready. Woody Creek is in the okay. house. I am going with some classics tonight, and I wanted to show you guys uh, just exactly what Woody Creek is and how awesome. we're growing our own potatoes uh, right in these fields Sweet. Sweet. behind me. So, oh wow, uh, just like what Alex was saying, Alex and Chris. Oh. Uh, there's like a there's very much so uh, a lot involved with uh, you know what you're using and where it's being grown and the flavors that come from where it's grown so that's where Woody Creek gets its flavors we're going to be doing two uh, classic cocktails again tonight uh, the first one is going to be a uh, a vodka martini so very simple. We're gonna make it a little bit. So, so two and a half ounces of vodka, a uh, quarter ounce of dry vermouth. I've been a huge fan of the dry vermouth. So we will do that. On ne voit pas là, non? Because on ne voit pas le toilette, non? Juice. Shake that baby up. Pour it back out. 
And this is going to be our dirty vodka martini uh, with Woody Creek, of course. Uh, last up, a couple olives. Let's really get it up there. Uh, the second one is going to be a gin martini. So Woody Creek Gin, this is still our potato vodka. Uh, it's it's made, yeah, 100% uh, Rio Grande Woody Creek potatoes. Uh, but this one we're going to stir, actually. So everyone always thinks of uh, James Bond, the shaken, not stirred thing. If you shake something, it's going to make it cloudier, but it's going to make it colder and a little more diluted. Uh, if you stir it, it's going to keep it clear and uh, not really affect uh, the spirit quite as much. We'll do that. Yes. Same thing, a uh, little bit of vermouth, but for this one, I like to actually uh, just kind of swish around the glass and then pour it back out. Trying to look for all my tools right now. <laughs> We're going to go with this. So, shaken and stirred. Uh, the last thing is we're going to garnish the gin one with some lemon peel. Uh, it's nice to do like a little rim around the glass, drop it right back in. Uh, mm -hmm. and so we have our two martinis here. Awesome! Here. awesome. Dirty. Yay! Uh, love it, love it. Potato vodka and a, uh, a uh, twist with Woody Creek gin. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. It's a gin, though, for saying it's a gin. It's a gin, it's a gin, though, for saying it's a gin. So, what we're going to do is so, Willie Creek, you mm -hmm. can pick up every Thursday, you can pick up your kit, your cocktail kit from them. Okay. And then uh, you can make your own cocktail. It's excellent. I don't like you, know, I'm lazy. After I do my 16 hour work, cook for everybody. I want to be taken care of. So go get your kid already done, he packaged everything. And then uh, you pick up your box. You go, you make your cocktail with everything. Easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. <laughs> Sounds good, Mawa. Okay, let's make my potato now, okay? Thank you, Woody Craig, this All right. Great. Thank you, Mawa, we'll see you next week. Yes. Okay, so Chris, Keep cooking. we have our potato cooked. You wanna... The strainer? The strainer. I got it. Hey, is Heather uh, uh, Clendworth and Mac out there? One of my mentees might be cooking with us. You guys out there? Mac is in, she's doing her mentorship at Aspen High School. Or really? Aspen High School. Aspen, there yeah. they are. Yeah. Aspen hi. High School. Hi. Hi. Hey, Mac. Hi. How you doing? Hey, Heather. Hey. So, Chris is going to show us how to make mashed potatoes. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Yo, we are making... Potato puree, not mashed potato. Mashed potato is American. Potato puree, potato <laughs> muslin is French. With all the elegance, okay? I'm just saying for y'all to know, you know, so. I'm Chris, That's right. am I right? Puree de pommes de terre. Puree de pommes de terre. So you are learning some new word. Puree de pommes de terre. Boeuf à la bourguignonne. <laughs> okay, a prise a haricot vert. Avec deux S. Avec un S après haricot. Et bien sinon, c'est un seul haricot vert. Okay, so haricot vert <laughs> is green bean. Green bean. So our green bean are skinny. Skinny green, green bean. Yes, green bean. Yeah, yeah. The skinny green bean, they look beautiful, smelt. You know, they look like they're on a diet. They've been on a diet forever. <laughs> That's the French Arico Vert. And then you have the little fatty one. <laughs> From here. I enjoy them. <laughs> That's green bean, y'all. Green bean. <laughs> okay, so 
show. You're gonna show us how to do this, okay? So you need a bowl, right? So the string. Okay, you understand it. You know, I, I, I'm from Africa. We have old fashioned, okay? We don't use none of this. If you don't have this in the wilderness, I'm gonna show you, okay? So you take, how do you take the water out if, if you have to know? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Don't knock. 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 Make sure I get the same. Okay. <laughs> so you have your milk and heavy cream? She made the lid at now. At Paris with Paris, we always use only heavy cream. So when you have a big appetite, like you might want to use heavy cream and butter only. But uh yes. petite, okay. come la reine. I'm in the diet, so I use a little bit more milk and I have heavy cream of course. <laughs> and I have my butter. Okay, butter here, everybody. And make sure your milk or heavy cream is hot. That's the key here, people. Okay, you wonder why when you go to Dash Dash, the restaurant mashed potato, you can't ever make it at home. That's the trick. You're going to show us, okay? So, hmm? <laughs> All right. Hope we need to put it back over here. Yeah. And then, okay. So, I bet you at home you have a potato masher. You know this, this, this thing here? Huh? Is that it? What? Okay. So, you're going to put, put your potato, potato in there, and, and then you're going to do this action. action. Yes? Okay. okay. And in France, in France, we, we put it in the, the, China, the, 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 the ricer. It's quite a, you know, the thing. Okay, we can, can put it through a rice. I don't even know how to say that in French. The, the, how much is it? The twinkle. The twinkle. Did you mention what? Any of the French people there? Any? They it's to called a rice in English. Jeff. 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 Are you on? Jeff. Yes. Jeff. Ça fait comment le truc comme ça, là, Jeff? Allô? Ouais, presse purée, on appelle ça. Presse purée. Presse purée. Presse purée. Ok, il n'y a pas de caméra, toi? Je peux mettre ça ici aussi? Oui, c'est vrai, c'est ça, là. Presse purée. Mais ça, il est en anglais. C'est le machin. Non, pas mis la caméra. En anglais, on appelle ça rice. Because okay. it, it looks like rice when you put it through at first. Okay. Anyway, or you can use the beaters. That's mm -hmm. the that's the lazy American yeah. way to do it. What you is get, the beater? You know the little the, the, the two beaters that you really? put on the I don't know. on the chingadera. Oh, okay, on the chingadera. Yeah, so you're learning something. That's why you need to take two beaters. He's bowling on a mashed potato. Okay. So we're going to make it. Are you all ready? Everybody, everybody have their mashed potato, potato and everything, everything ready so we can make it together? together? Yes, yes, no? Why am I upside down? <laughs> I, I can see myself. myself. Uh, we, we were upside, upside down. down. I mean, seriously? seriously? So, so what are we going to start with? with? We're going to do this? Sure. Uh, you, you're going to use the trapanza? What? Sure. Sure. Yeah, we can okay. start. Maybe we start off yes. with this. Yes. 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 So, so start like this. this. Yeah. Okay. Chris. Okay. With your. With your uh, fouet. With your whip. With your whip. Use your whip. Whip it. Whip the wheel good. These are ever cooked. I'm not kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nobody, nobody's gonna notice. Okay? No, they're perfect. I'm kidding. All right. So I, I did a stage. I did a stage at Jean Georges, and we had to 
put him through the ricer three times. One, yeah. and then back two, yeah. and then back three times. And I was just trying it too. We only do it once at, 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 uh, at Cash Cash, but so they, they like go. Yeah. 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 yeah, but you can strand it too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can put it through a thing like this yes. if yes. you want to be really, really, really fancy. Yes. Like your brother. Yes, my brother, fancy, fancy. fancy. Oh, God! That's why I have a sister. You wonder how many brothers and sisters I have? I can tell you, it's 20 of us. So, very international. Good. Awesome. So we, could probably even, Hi. we could probably even just go in here. We yeah. Mean, yeah. yeah. We'll yes. do that. So, me and Brain, we have a milk. Okay. You can always add more. You can always add more. Let's start with less. Okay. Voilà. Ah oui. Attends, il faut que je coupe, hein? Ok, people, y'all. Yeah. Chris, you saw me. Hi, Guy. Guy, réveille-toi. <laughs> This is my Hi, Guy. He's a firefighter. Nice. Uh, firefighter in Paris. He's a pompon. He's a pompon. He's a pompon. He's a best cool, man. He's the best one. Okay. Okay, if we're going to have a quiz about Maui's family later, and you're going to get a $100 gift certificate, if you can tell me how many people of my family was here tonight, okay? And then Chris is going to say, give something too. I don't know where I'm going to give, but they're going to give something. Some chicken wings <laughs> from uh, Auntie. I'll give, I'll give for chicken wings. I'm telling you. Okay. Oh, like cash cash. Oh, yeah, I like cash cash. So I was, I was having Chris. Okay, June, June 10th is my anniversary. I'm going to be there. I like foie gras. Uh, crab claws. I, I'm just, you know, just giving him hints of what I like. I don't know. I'm like, yeah, we're friends, so I want to make sure I got my table. I'm going out for my fancy dinner. I'm in my foie gras to start. Okay, oh, oh, the smell. The smell is good. Oh. That's another um, one somebody asked earlier. Like, we do a classic version of the escargot. Oh, look, all right. La bourguignonne. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so today is coming along. So we already put salt in it, do we? but we need to taste it. Do we yes. use white pepper? The ground yeah. white pepper normal? Yeah. If you don't have... You, The ground white pepper makes it look nice mm. on the plate, but if you're at home, like I usually don't care, you can throw black pepper in there. Yeah. Delicious. And it should be, it should taste when you eat it. It should be so good. You have to have at least two more spoonfuls when you try to. If it's not okay. that good, it's not ready. Okay. Et moi? Mm. Je, je, je pense que on a besoin de plus de beurre, hein? Mm -hmm. Butter, butter more butter. butter. We like butter. Uh-huh. Well, can I ask a question? Yes. So I missed the part about the cream and the milk. You it says in the recipe to boil it. Yes, please. So you just add it in a little bit at a time until yes. it's boiled. Yes. Or do you boil it separately? No. So you boil them together and then you're gonna add it to your potato little by little. Okay, so okay. in a separate pan. Yes, correct. Gotcha. Thank you. Awesome. I want to see it. Okay. <laughs> I'm watching. We're Stay on her. Car, I'm going to watch. Okay. And potatoes throughout the year always have a different starch content. So yes. sometimes you might need more, sometimes you might need less. You just gotta taste it. Okay. Always tasting in the kitchen. You're always tasting. Taste it, taste it, taste it. That's how you educate your mouth, your taste buds. How that's how you develop because you're eating, you're tasting, you 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 know you have a memory. Oh, look at Mouse kitchen is in the house. Who are you? What are you doing? We want this special salt. Huh? <laughs> Julio! What are you doing? Look at him. 
You see, I always keep an eye on my own play. I want to make sure they're doing the right thing. So I'm watching them run. I'm looking what you're all about. I'm watching them to tell them quality control. Bruno! Oh, wow. Il est pas content. I am ready. You pay me. I... Oh, we're just doing this to the ring. Look at hey, everyone. Hey, what's up, guys? Hi. How's it going, man? Did everybody find Ludicrous Distillery for all this wonderful bottle? Okay, while well, we need it, nobody would make it, and they made those sanitizers so we can open our restaurant. Okay, so I want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for donating all of these bottles to all the restaurants and people who needed it. Okay? Allez, marié ou pendu? So, everybody eat of the mashed potato like mine, like ours. Okay, ours. Can you see it? Santé. Okay. Santé. Okay. okay. Santé. Ah. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I want to see it. I want to see some part. Come on, show me. Awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, is Shelly okay. center fit there, Daniel? So Shelly awesome. Centerfit, watching her. I want to see my potato. <laughs> hey, Mac. Hey, Heather. Mac's eating um, some rice. Look <laughs> <laughs> at okay, Ellen. I love your mashed potato. We're, our mashed potatoes are in process, but Matt is confident he's got it. Let's see it. Let's nice. see it, Matt. I have our potato ricer. Nice. Awesome. All right. We're good to go. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Mm, it smells good. It smells good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, okay, so, so we're gonna, so please guys, check your big book in your storage. Okay, so we're gonna store it. Yes, we are going to check it out. Yeah, I'll do it. Sir. I am her, I am her sous chef. Whatever she tells Thank me to do, you. that's what I do. Yes. He's a gentleman. Ooh. Okay, let's see it. You want to bring it over here so people yes, can see it? Don't, don't leave it on this view. Oh, la, 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 la. Okay, okay here. Here we go. Uh, oh, la vache. Oh, la vache. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I see. Him. Okay. But where on this, on this and this? Okay. I'm getting huh? facial. Ah, That's where, okay. you know, I never pay for facial, your people. This is how I get my facial. It's free. It's delicious. If I can put it in my mouth, it can go in my face, y'all. This is it. Okay, so make sure you stir it. I mean, okay. People pay a lot of money at Snowmass to get like the same treatment. You know, like you put your yes. head with it. Yes, phone. exactly. Yeah, this is, this is it. <laughs> I'm not going to be too sick. Do you want to put a little salt? I'm going to taste it a little bit. Oh, it tastes good already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put the whole thing in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, make sure you stir it, okay? And then put it back in the oven. And now uh, then I'm going to uh, put the lid on. We're going to put the lid on. Make sure your lid doesn't melt, huh? Hey, Mala. Yes? This is uh, Mark Kleckner and Pat Scanlon here. What do you yes. think, Stillers? Hey! Hi. What's up, y'all? Hey, Chris. How you doing, Hi. man? <laughs> What's happening? I know these cats. How y'all doing? Yeah. Well, how you doing, brother? Good. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for being here with us, man. Thanks yeah. for all the delicious... Uh, Good stuff. Delicious, Kira. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Tracy cooking, some drinks. Got some nice French wine here. Good stuff. You know? I didn't see it. Where are they? The wine? No. Huh? I want to see those. She's calling me out. Okay, we got a, <laughs> we got a 79. Uh, oh, 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 no, 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 we're going to get for today. Okay? Alex, did you hear that? Wow. Awesome. Alex, did you hear that? 
Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm jealous. Huh? Yeah, Leo Villebarton, Leo Villacaz, I'm very jealous, guys. Yes. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very jealous. You so we, just, we got these out of the trash behind Cash Cash. <laughs> Well, that was, that was back in March. <laughs> yeah, we drink like a sip of them. We're like, yeah. <laughs> We're really drinking Ripple. <laughs> well, you guys, you, you, you guys know, know how to do it uh, over there in Woody Creek. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, they do. Those, 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 are be- those are beautiful wines. I mean, with the Beuve Bourguignon, that yes. works too. Huh? Just uh, don't, you know, don't tell me... Uh, we, you, can, you can definitely go with these wines. That's a different price point, of course, but gorgeous, gorgeous wines. This one here says twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I, uh, I like that. I yes. be, well, well, I, I bought it in uh, 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 eighty one. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> bought, bought in eighty one. Wow. Back in the, yeah, back in the eighties. When when you think about it, you know the price the price point of wine just went up so much. You know, yes. it just it just, it just it just became crazy. It just became crazy, you know, and uh, especially the past ten years. The past ten years, you know, a lot of ratings, so much demand all around the world for uh, foreign wine. It's uh, it, it becomes difficult, you know, to uh, to make a wine list okay. and try to get, to find a lot of wines. Um, at different price bacon? points that are really enjoyable and beautiful. You know, like, like I said earlier, it's easy them. to make an expensive wine list with the most that? beautiful wines in the world. So the real work is to make a wine list and include all those beautiful wines from different regions that you tasted, that are tasting really, that are exciting, and uh, that don't, uh, you know, empty your, uh, you know, match up your credit line. <laughs> Awesome. Oh. Thank you for doing this, Mawa. We we love being part of it and we look forward to many more. Oh yes, we are. Good to see you guys, man. Our family house. Our community that cook together, stay together. That's right. That's it. Right on. Okay, what, so what time is this? What time is this friends? In France it's two o'clock in the morning. Is, is anybody is drinking? drinking? It's night. This is my question. Oh, no, I was drinking. Make sure you guys oh, get. Oh my God! Look at my sister. She's in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi guys. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Oh my God! I'm so oh, sorry. She's in Switzerland. Switzerland yes. Yeah. Switzerland's okay. really nice. I really oh, like. Oh, good. You have your wine. Good. <laughs> so guys, I have this wine. Nice. Okay. It's uh, the Oh, okay. From uh, Zurich. So cheers, yeah, guys. Very nice. Oh, cheers. Nice. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so now, before we start the fish, the fish is fast. It takes 10 minutes to make the fish. So before we do the fish, let's finish the beef bourguignon accoutrement. So for people who don't know what accoutrement is, it's accoutrement. Accoutrement. It's accoutrement. Okay. okay. It's a French word that sounds so elaborate, so, so, um, how do you say it? Fancy. In the inside, your people's sides, your sides. So if you want to be fancy, just say accoutrement. The green beans, the mushroom, the pearl onion. Okay. So we're gonna cook them, and then we're gonna cook the fish, and then we finish with the salad. Okay, so stay with us. Okay. So now, what I need you guys to do? Put water in a pan. We're gonna do the green bean or the haricot vert because we're in France. We say haricot vert. Make sure you put a lot of salt in the water to keep the green bean green. Okay. So, and make sure the water is boiling, boiling. So you have nice, crispy, no, crispy. That wasn't the right word. What do I say? Firm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, that has a bite. Not those. Uh, I mean, when we do it, like for a, a lot of people ahead of time, we'll take the green beans. Like, like Chef Mala said, we yeah have to have a lot of salt. You cook them when they're boiling quickly, and you know, we I like them like al dente, you know, like and then we blend, and then we shock them in water. And what's that in French? The idea. Huh? We take them and we put them, we shock them in okay. ice water. Chef, uh, Chef, uh, Jack. Bouillir. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Tu, tu oui, on, met, on, on fait bouillir dans l'eau et puis après oui. on fait choquer dans l'eau avec euh, de, dans un de, bain à glace. de glaçon. Yes. Un bain à yes. glace. Tu m'entends C'est un bain à glace. Un bain à glace. That keeps in the color. It really holds in the green color. Yes. That's actually what we're going to do. And then when then you heat them up again, when they're ready, when you're ready to serve them, then you'll heat them up again. Ouais, tu arrêtes la cuisson et ça garde le vert. So we have our eyes here. Okay, we're going to put it here. Because we're going to shut the green. We're going to go crazy. You know, that's how you cook the French beans. Okay, so one of your pens should be hot. We're going to pour the mushroom in there. The mushroom looks like. Okay, so we are sauteing our mushroom. Make sure that the pen is, is hot. Okay, because we don't want really a lot of water, we want it to sear it, you know, you, have, you need to have flavor, okay? So make sure your pen is super hot. So you, and, and, then, and then don't put too much at the same time, time, at the time. Because that's why, it's, you know, it's watery. Just boom, it should, and then bam. It should sing to you when you put it in the hot pan. That do I show the... Okay, when you pay, don't say... We're having fun here. You know, Aspen, Colorado. You know, I have a hashtag for Aspen, Colorado. I say, nothing ever happened in Aspen. But it's a good thing. We like it that way, and we intend to keep it that way. So all of you who are graduating, okay, make sure nothing ever happened in Aspen. Okay? I want to take a moment to talk about, not talk about, yeah, to honor someone today, today okay? Um, as an African American, I cannot ignore what happened to George Floyd, okay? Even though I never experienced it myself, thank God, okay? I have a wonderful community. I don't think it will ever happen, and I hope it never happened. So, for the people who are graduating today or tomorrow, I should say. Make sure Aspen, people experience Aspen the way I experience it, okay? As an African-American, I have a good life. I'm grateful, thankful. I never think about those things, but I know that they exist. Even though they don't exist here, they exist elsewhere. So we want to make sure that never ever come to our community here, okay? That was like 50 cents, okay? Yes. All right. Amen. So, Mawa, Renee has a question. Yes, Renee. Before I do my band. She only found cocktail onions, not pearl onions. Is that okay? Cocktail onions? Yeah. No. Yeah. How much have you been drinking, Renee? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, yes. Sure. yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so be careful because cocktail onions. He's in Vienna. That's what's kind of cool about what we're talking about. Yes. Like, you know, if you don't, if you're staying in this awesome place in here, you know, when you come on vacation or whatever, mm -hmm. you're going to use whatever they have here. You know, yes. Yeah. So, should I rinse them? Sure. Yes, rinse them, please. Okay. And dry them, pat them, dry them. Okay. So, so our, our, our thing is smoking right now. Sure. Oh, I'm gonna let him do it. Yeah. I don't want to play so much. You want to see it with your? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay.
see how that shows. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna. Yep. Awesome. There we go. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Can you hear me? Uh -huh. Can you hear? Me? Can you hear me? Okay, I got my bathtub here with ice. Your people. Wait, did you add oil to the mushroom? I have my bathtub here. Um, my ice bath. bath. Sorry, ice bath. Bathtub, ice bath. It's all good. It's vegetable. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. So if you guys know what, because I don't think all the stores sell, uh, I recommend it. Barbara, you look like your mask, girl. Someone put everything and then went to sleep. Oh, yeah. Barbara. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. You want to okay. see it? Uh, okay, so I did the um, lazy person way of the potatoes. <laughs> I love my KitchenAid. I do. Awesome. I really love it. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's awesome. And it looks like a mousseline. It looks good. Did you test it? Yeah, it's good. Awesome! I put in, I put in that's, all this um, butter and salt and pepper. Um, it's been awesome. Time. Awesome. If she's cool with that. So now we're going to have a green bean. We're doing a green bean. And then we're doing and the, 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 the mushroom. The mushroom. Okay, at the same time. At the same time. We're mostly talking. We're mostly talking. Remember Tim? Remember Tim? Yeah, he's always the same. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Alex, c'est bourré encore. Salut. Well, the salt, salt is here. Hi, Alex. Et en plus, chef, on a, on a commandé du euh, Rome Team Barbecue ce soir. Hi, nice. Zou. Yay. Thank you. Ouais, 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 ouais. Ce soir, what on you, se fait. What you, what you order? Um, I don't know. Emily, Emily ordered a few things. Nice. I know I got the pulled pork sandwich, which is my all-time favorite. I'm a oh, huge, you know, this is, this is something I discovered in the United States, regardless. Uh, pulled pork, and I fell in love with uh, pulled pork sandwiches. Thanks, Alex. It's good. It's very American. And barbecue is a very American way of cooking. It is slow, slow, slow yeah. took it it's unbelievable. Uh, it's uh, it's unbelievable. And you took it for a long time. You know, that's our four parts we took. Um, first, we rub them with our, with our rub. But, and then we, you're going to show us that, right? You're going to do another cooking class? Yeah, what are you going to Stay on this because it's just taking us an yes. hour and a half, and I'm going to pull out a pork <laughs> butter. And, uh, and that takes like, you know, anywhere from, uh, you know, 10 or 14 hours, depending wow. on the size of the, of the piece of meat. And you took it low and slow. Low and slow. Oh, it's amazing. Lisa. Yeah, and then we, uh, and then we protein, we'll, we'll pour it out of the smoke. It's about 215, 220. Uh, and then we, we bring let the temperature drop to about 165. Then we, um, then we wrap them and throw them in a hot box and pour them as you need them throughout the day. So it's, it's a, lot longer, a longer process, but we really strive for, you know, the um, it's so good. final product to be absolutely perfect when you put it in the mouth. It's, it, it's so good. It's so good. So and guys, you know, if your water is boiling, make sure you put salt in the water. And then we're going to put, once the water is boiling, we're going to press our green beans. I'm going to go there. Vas-y, okay. chef, attaque le, also, attaque, attaque, attaque le rouge. Chef, on le mushroom. Le mushroom, il peut 
Attaque le rouge. 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 Att Really nicely done, you know. Yeah, just uh, just right at the border between the Côte de Nuit and the Côte de Bonne, and um, those wines, uh, those wines have a little bit more of a savory, earthy tone with a dark fruit plum attribute. Very pretty. Yeah. Very nicely done. That's a good. Actually, that's a very good uh, pairing for the Bourgogne. Nice. That's awesome. And there's some mixed liquors. They're right down the street here in Chamonix. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. and it's delivered too. Thank you. I think, yeah, yeah, it's delivered. It's delivered. It's delivered. It's delivered. Those guys did a good, uh, a good job uh, with the pairing. Yeah, like for next week. So next week we have Chef Michael, and it's gonna be Michael Lutherberg. We are traveling to Germany, and guess what? Oh, we're gonna have. Yes, yeah, she's old. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. I love it. It's my favorite. I'm a yes. huge yes. fan. I'm a yes. huge fan of Germany. Favorite. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we are going to have. Big fan of Germany. Moselle. Great red cabbage with red wine. And uh, mm. warm potato oh. salad. Mm. Yeah. 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 But Good. Chef, Good. Chef Mike well, Rugerberg is a good buddy of mine. He's yeah. an awesome dude. No, yeah, this is so funny. I thought he was supposed to dinner with Like, all of us have from another country. I'm from Atlanta. Oh, no. Yeah, you're Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, Hell yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta's a cool town, man. Yeah, Fort Atlanta. Atlanta. That's how I saw it. I've been here for 23 years now. Oh, wow. My beach. I've been here. 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 So now we are going to do the pearl onion. The pearl onion is a little tricky, okay? Because I like to caramelize them, but not caramelize really. You know, so I'm going to start with a little bit of water because it's a little bit, okay? And with it, and then finish with oil or butter, okay? Um, and the salt and pepper, and I'll mix it. Okay? So, make sure your pan is done. Okay. So, this is my salt and pepper. This is butter. Okay? I worked in a restaurant in Atlanta. Ciboulette was the name of the restaurant. And we had to peel, maybe it was a preachy, but we had to peel, per, like when you first got there, one of your jobs was to peel the pearl onion. Oh my God. And it takes a while. Oh no, you know what I did, Alex? One of my fabulous students. Because I'm like, hey, listen, it's not this day. Is that why Julio was all upset? Yeah, that's why Julio was upset because I'm like, who do you do this? Because I know I can't, I can't do it. Julio! Julio! Thank you for the onion! <laughs> Hi! How's it going? They're beautiful. They're perfect. How's it going over there? It's like I'm leaving now, okay? How are you doing? Good? Good? Awesome. 
trout you know so like i was saying earlier you know uh wine pairing you have to take in consideration um the few you know what it is in your plate correct if you have protein you have lipids you have you know what it is that makes the plate. in this particular case in this particular case the trout mm -hmm. is with a uh, butter and uh, it's a white wine butter sauce correct so with mm -hmm. that in mind, you need, a, you need a wine that holds up to the sauce, you know, so it's not much about the protein, it's about the sauce in this case. So because of that, you want to be able to uh, bring a wine that has a texture, that has, you know, enough length, okay. medium body, you know, a good body to it, and that really has a long finish. So different, uh, you know, in, or in order to do that, you can play with um, of course, my favorite, a uh, white burgundy. So this mm -hmm. is 100% Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Again, birthplace, mm -hmm. you know, burgundy being the birthplace of uh, Chardonnay, mm -hmm. producing some of the greatest, some of the greatest uh, Chardonnays in the world. But it doesn't mean that you have to yeah. stick with a, uh, a white burgundy. You can also play uh, with a lighter version of a New World Chardonnay, which I fell in love with in the Oregon. Oregon Chardonnay, mm -hmm. to my taste, are absolutely fantastic. You know, they kept a lot of, you know, a lot of the fruit um, in check. They have some brightness, the acids, but yet they are not using uh, too much new oak, which does not give this um, creme brulee, uh, apple, tarte, tatin type of uh, caramel type of finish, which you don't want, you know, in this part with this particular dish. So when you go to Burgundy, it's all about uh, freshness, acids, and minerality. Uh, a good example, a good example uh, for an easy is a Bourgogne Blanc from Olivier Lefebvre Les Tétilles. Uh, the fruit is a mix of, you know, this is all from the Merceau and Pilini Morache area. You can find this wine around 25, I would say, $25 in a, in a, um, in a liquor store. You know, a little bit of a nuttiness. Red, um, we are talking about uh, yellow apple, yellow pear, you know, medium body, medium plus in acids, fresh, clean, not particularly complex towards the finish, but very approachable. And uh, here, 
you can uh, you can go a little bit bigger if you want. This is the premier cru bon du château, which uh, sees a little bit of oak. So this is the complexity towards the finish of uh, vanilla spices that embrace a little bit more of the texture of the butter. And this is what you're looking for. You're looking for, um, you know, quite a garlic and wine that comes together with the sauce. Yeah. So this is a this is a, a great way to, uh, to go with these. And again, I talked about Oregon Pinot Noir. Oregon Pinot Noir, um, sorry, Chardonnays are phenomenal. I uh, start discovering these wines four or five years ago and really, really blew my mind. Awesome, thank you so much. Just as an experiment, you can, uh, you can play with these. And then, you know, one notch up, I think uh, a Merceau would be the Merceau. ultimate pairing. Oh, absolutely. You know, Merceau, uh, one of the greatest uh, Chardonnay produced in the world from a beautiful village. But one of the main characteristics is uh, the nuttiness. You know, okay. it is the only Chardonnay that you wear, you really can find, you know, uh, towards the end, um, a little bit of a toasted almond, uh, walnut flavors that intermix, you know, with the beautiful fruit and the mineral undertone. Yes. So this is, uh, those are beautiful wines. Um, Merceau would play with, and if you don't do a trout, a trout meunier, you can do a Dover sole meunier as well, and that will blow your mind with a Merceau. Thanks, Alex. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, everybody has a trout. We are going to do trout. And then the freeze it and we are done. Have your beautiful trout. Make sure they pack dry. Okay. I have mine because I have a lot of people here. Okay. Make sure. So, if you are gluten free, do not use the flour. You don't need the flour. If you're not gluten free, you can put the flour. Okay? All right, so we're gonna start. We are going to drench the, you're gonna season it. You have your seasoning. Okay? Anything else you need, Chef Chris? You you're all set for. Oh, you need to take that. Let me just let me do it here over here. You go over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I'm gonna yeah do over there since mm -hmm. you have everything. Okay. Okay. You have your seasoning. Okay. Like I say, I put a little twist on this. This is not authentic, the French Meunier. Okay. It's a little, you know, New Orleans style trout menu. Okay. So, you need to have your pen. Okay. So, since I'm not using flour, I just put the seasoning on top. So when you are using flour, you need to follow the recipe that I gave you, okay? I only put seasoning on top and I'm gonna sear it that way because I don't want any flour because I have some gluten-free people. But if you don't have any gluten-free person, please put flour, you know, drink in the flour, okay? Then sear it, okay? All right. Actually, I need some of that too. So make it for two. We, we chef. <laughs> you want How do you want to chop? You want to yeah. chop slivers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Awesome. So meanwhile, I'm still cooking my uh, green beans or haricot verts. Okay. So this is gonna be fast. This is the last. 
last last thing before your dinner okay because your beef burger is not ready anyway so you need to stick with me and press <laughs> how many goose a would you like oh uh, at least six six, okay. six because i love garlic i love 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 garlic so everybody's ready we're gonna sear the fish okay Meanwhile, you ask your spouse to prep for the salad because this is going to be fast. Salmon? Because we have the salad, the salad, the frisée. Oh, salad. I was just salad. salmon. Oh, excuse me. Salad, salad, oh. salad frisée, frisée. Okay. <laughs> so meanwhile, you ask your spouse or your children, okay, because the, the whole family need to show his love. Okay. So any question, anybody? Question. Can you show me the people who are doing fish? I want to see the fish, please. Because this is the beauty of doing this class. I love to see you. Okay. I want to bond with you. We are all in this together. I want to see you. Are you doing fish? Okay. Can I see your fish? It's in the fridge still. But yes. <laughs> 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 nice, Heather. Hi, Lynn. Ma'am. Hi. Can I see your fish? Awesome. Awesome. That's it. <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to do mine too. There we go. It's quite small, Dad. That's it. No. Okay. okay. So the sauce for the fish is pretty easy. You put everything together, reduce it a little bit, and then pour on top. So after you sear your fish, can I see some fish people? Fish people. Awesome. I see some, some green bean over there. Awesome. Nice shot. Awesome. So now flip it. Awesome. Yay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Wonderful. What a pro. You are a pro. Awesome. You are a pro. Okay. Heather, how are you doing? You look confused, girl. Let me help you. <laughs> Heather, help where's you. Mac? We need Mac to help you. I know. She's she like... left. Hudson's on the couch playing Call of Duty. Friend is there, though. Hey, hi, hey. hey, wait, is that Harry? Is that Harry Connick Jr.? It is. Nice. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Thanks for being here. We'll see you I'm next just, week. I'm just taking orders. Yay. We're coming from Austin to Aspen next week. We'll see you soon. Nice. We can't wait to see you. Hey, look. It had to be you. It had to be you. For you. Salmon. Awesome. So, everybody have, anybody have a question? Oh, let me see. Beautiful. Is it cooked? I need you to, to put a fork or take a bite of the meat. And it's, if it's cooked, it melts in your mouth. Fork? Fork it. Good. Awesome. Awesome. Be bugging your again. Great. Awesome. Bien joué. Okay, now 
We are going to do. Bravo, ma biche. Any question about the the fish? <laughs> Y'all good? You got it, darling. If you got it, darling, we're gonna start with the frisé. I have one question about the fish. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes. I'm not a fan of either garlic powder or onion powder. Anything, okay. anything else to do, or or just leave it out. Leave it out, honey. Leave it out. It's all a matter of taste. Okay. Leave it out. Okay. Yeah. So leave it out. And then do it and show me because I want to see it. Okay, M. That was M, right? Okay, M. Yes, it was. Okay. So if you're not a fan of a spice, like cayenne spice, you don't want it, you know, so you can always leave it out. Cooking, it's about you. It's not about me. I'm just giving you guidance. Then you make it your own. Like I took that recipe for someone and I made it my own. And then you're going to take it for me and then make it your own. That's what cooking is about. Make it personal. Okay? That's why there's family recipe. There's Mawa's recipe. There's Chris recipe. There's Alex recipe. Okay? So, everybody has the salad ingredient. Because you need to pay attention because this is important. This is the best salad you're going to ever make. Okay? Because Chef Chris is going to do this. Ooh, yeah. Okay? I'm ready. He's ready. Are you ready? Oh. Let's I'm just ready. finish the fish. No, I'm ready. Okay? Ma Mabisha, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm ready. Okay. So, we are going to zoom in to Chris doing the fish because he needs to go run his restaurant, okay? He's going to do the salad. So uh, these are your, this is your sliced garlic. Yes. Oh, fine. Okay. So this is, this is my, so we're going to use chopped garlic. We're going to cut up a shallot. In French, they say cisle. So I've already cut it this way. And then I cut it this way. And I can do it again with another one if I need to. But this way, duck, 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 duck. And now I'm going to cut it this way. And you get nice little bitty. Beautiful. Voilà, cisle. Cisle, les échalotes. Nom de Dieu, bordel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bravo, bravo, chef. Ton vocabulaire a vraiment, vraiment. Ça fait ça. Ouais, je vois. Okay, so, so I have my shallots and then I have my garlic has been chopped up. And so you can, if you have a machine to do it, you can blitz it in a RoboCoop. Otherwise, you just do it by hand. Da, 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 da. Uh, and then I'll make the, the, oh, there I am. What's up, man? <laughs> you gotta keep drinking, man. Um, so, I like it. So we'll do a little bit. So I'm gonna make the dressing right now. I'm just gonna use an egg, one egg yolk. Did I put this in the recipe? Yes, you did. All right. You did. And this is easy. Like the basic vinaigrette is three to one oil to vinegar, like for just a simple vinaigrette. And this is not too fancy. I think that's why I like it. That's why we'll put a little bit of honey. So I'm making it about so how much bacon do we have? We have this much bacon. Yeah. So I use about that and much I'm gonna cook We have our lardon and our bacon set on the side. Mm -hmm. And then we have our egg yolk with the honey and then balsamic vinegar and if you don't have balsamic use red wine we're gonna put a little salt and pepper and you can always add more so don't put too much at the beginning mm -hmm. a little ground black pepper oh uh, ground black pepper is the best if you have it otherwise everything something else is fine and then we have our olive oil Very simple, very delicious. <coughs> and you want to kind of have a multi So, uh, slowly whisk it in. Good, Jeff. Merci, ma biche. <laughs> in the window. In the window. I worked at one restaurant in Paris where it was the 
the hostess would say, uh, the host who was a woman would say, not fish, but she would say, fish. <laughs> we thought, fish. Fish. The ticket, the ticket would come up. Fish, not fish. Mm -hmm. But fish. And you know, this, will, this will keep for a while. You can make this. Uh... E C H U. <laughs> So now it's time to get the other two a little thicker. Ooh, it looks good. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Thank you, honey. So I'm going to make it up for this batch right here. So that's probably pretty good. So once you have your salad dressing, always taste. In the COVID times, you have a taste with a spoon. I'm going to taste right now. I think it's delicious. <laughs> All right, so now we have our frisé salad. What else are we missing? We do this, this, we do chopped parsley. So we do quick, quick chopped parsley. Mm -hmm. And you can all, like you were saying, Chef Mawa, mm -hmm. usually I pick them off the stem, but you can always use your stems and throw them in the stock or no. it's perfect for the, yes. the buff. Uh, the buff for uh, la bourguignon. bourguignon. So a quick chop. Uh, Chop it up, chop, 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 chop. So what's nice about the restaurant, you have your, your kitchen guys have all the stuff prepped up for you. So you have your ingredients. But you, this stuff will stay, you know, if you have lots of parsley, keep it in the little thing. I got it. Put your uh, eco-friendly little wrap thing over it and save it in the fridge for a couple of days at least. So we have salt, pepper, here's a dressing. Lardon, raw. I didn't add mustard. I'm gonna add a little mustard. This is what I should have done that at the very beginning. I'm gonna add a little bit at the end. I should have added that with my, uh, actually it's gonna be fine. Improvise, improvise. I didn't even know you could do that. You see, it now you out. know. Touch a, touch a little, uh, touch a Dijon mustard. Okay, so now we're gonna take the salad. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add our lambo, our bacon. Okay. Uh, raw garlic for this amount, amount, and you can always add more. So they can also I cook the garlic, right? If they don't like raw, we don't want totally. to be raw. Yeah, totally. so you can soak it a little bit, and if you don't want people to. And what I like about this is, I mean, this is a very classic French dish, mm -hmm. so it's not. Um, this isn't anything that I created. We just e execute it properly the way it's supposed to be in honor of the French cuisine. So we do raw, and this might be a variation. It might be a little bit different. Um, so raw garlic, raw shallots, fresh parsley, salt and black pepper, a little bit, you can always add more. A lot, bim. And then, uh, yes, ganassas. We never had these in France. We always had to do no fourchette in France. And then <laughs> until we got to America, I'm like, what are these things? What are you doing with these things? But Americans, we can't work, work without them for something. Yeah. Savages. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. So, so now we're going to add. Uh, oh, wow. You can always add more. Some people like more, some people like less. I like the exact proper amount. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And so we have the bitter greens from the Jose. Different times of year, we try to get the, the it's called the blonde. But if you don't have frise, okay, because we don't sell frise at the store, really, like, what would you use? except, except at, at the, that's true. Yeah, think about it. I, I thought escarol will do too. Sure. Okay. That'd be a really, really good. Yes, escarol is, is it's a pretty good. So the great thing about this, okay, let me take my plate. My, my, I like my the, bowl. And I like the raw. The raw garlic gives it like a bite that is. Uh, Delicious. Yeah. That's the thing. You don't like bacon. You don't have to put bacon. You can. That's what, like Chef Ma was saying. You mm -hmm. can. You can make uh, your version of this salad and put and, whatever you need in it. And also, you know, in the recipe, you say you can put like goat cheese on a toast on a. So yeah, we, baguette, yeah. Chef or show. Exactly. I mean, we've done it two ways. We. Uh, I think now we do it with our um, with a poached egg on top. Uh huh. So you could do just a just a poached egg or cook it in a pan. Yes, pan it sear, on, yeah. Pour it on top. Yeah. Um, we also you could take do a goat cheese crouton. Uh huh. And we would actually take your crouton, slice your baguette, throw it in the oven with a little olive oil. And then when you take mm -hmm. it out, 
um, you would add, we, I like to get raw garlic and rub it on the crouton. Mm -hmm. And then you have your crouton and then you get a little piece of goat cheese. So you would slice off your piece of goat cheese, put it on your crouton, throw it in the oven for you know, 325 for three, you know, four minutes. You just want to just enough to heat it up a little bit. And put it on top of it, or your poached egg, and voila. And this is like, kind of, for me, this is classic French cuisine. Let me see. Let me see. Huh? Mm -hmm. But you there? I'm going with my hand. Is it all good? So okay, I don't necessarily do the right, okay? Bon it, 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 it gave me the right recipe because I know how he has it. Mm. He's capable of giving me a fake recipe, so I have to go to his restaurant to have it. Okay, so, yes, sir. Bon, ben, les, les enfants, moi, je vais y aller. Mm -hmm. Alex, mm -hmm. Il y a Home Team Barbecue qui est, qui est, qui est arrivé. <laughs> à la porte. Et il faut que je mange. Hey man, thank you, Alex, for being here, brother. Thank you, Alex. Tell them again, Sebastian, our other. See you next week. Menti. Thank you, thank you. Bisous à tout le monde. Bisous à tout le monde. Bisous à tout le monde. On se voit bientôt. Okay. À vendredi. Pas de folie. Merci. Delicious. Merci. I am not kidding. Merci à toi. Okay, at this restaurant. He put quail egg. No, no, quail egg. No, we just do it. We do a farm fresh a hen or and duck egg. Yeah. Dog, oh, it was duck egg. Okay, why was so small? Huh? You got jizz. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, I, any questions, anybody? Thank you so if much. If you have a question, I need to see your dishes. Thank you so much. Okay. Do you have any questions? Oh, this is Stacia from Hawaii. I didn't want to show myself because I just came from the beach and <laughs> into the kitchen. I'm jealous. <laughs> so, but I will show what we made. My daughter, my 16 year old daughter, was my sous chef and she uh -huh. helped me. And we'll show uh, in a couple seconds what we made. I just got to pull out the the beef. Yes, awesome. How do, you, how do you pronounce it again? Beef what? It's a gage gage no. No, 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 no. Beef a la bourguignon. Beef a la bourguignon. Which means in the style of burgundy. Burgundy style. Okay. Thank you so okay. much. We're gonna, we're thank, gonna, you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. As usual, guys. Please post your picture of your food on Facebook, Twitter, or send me a picture if you don't have Instagram. Okay. Tag us. Okay, Cash Cash. Flowers Kitchen. Okay. That's my girl. Grace Village. I love Thank her. you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. And he's going to come back again because I want his chicken wing recipe. Okay. I'm sure you all do want it. I want it. <laughs> So tell them to come back and make the chicken wing dress for you. Uh -huh. So you better come back. Okay. Thank you everybody for the support. Okay. Thank oh. you, Base Village. Okay. Sundance Sun Liquor from Snowmass. Okay. Base Village 502. Yes. And oh, this is the hand. Girl, she She's awesome too. <laughs> Oh, wonderful! Wow. Oh, wow! 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 Oh, bro, bro, bro! Oh, my God! Bro! Oh, wow! 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 And Esperado for this beautiful place that we are in. Thank you. Okay, because uh, we can. Hey, you know, most of all, Mawa. No, you. thank you. Oh, I'm so proud here. Thank you for this out of the community. I love you. Okay. Um, okay. You. So next week we have Chef Michael Workerberg, and we're going to Germany. So sign up because we're gonna yes. cafe at 200 people. We cafe, okay? Because we don't have the budget to for, for more people. Okay, so also if you want to support us so we can keep going and not have a technical difficulty, 
you can donate whatever you want. Okay. Um, and then um, yes, that's it. I want to see your dishes. Please take a picture. Take a picture. Post it. Oh, and look at this. Yes, okay. it's your book. This is pack uh, in black. If you don't have it, I'm in there. I have a recipe in there. Okay, this is come from New York. Okay, and uh, it's 101 African American chef. This is to support the the New York uh, culinary school for uh, the young people yeah. who cannot afford to go. So awesome. this is a pay the tuition. So we came up with this book to pay for the tuition. So if you don't have it, that's so cool. You need to come and get it. It's thirty five dollar. I don't make a dime on it. Okay, it's for those kids, so they don't, you know, start up with a big tuition. You know, so we, the money go into this. Awesome. Okay, so if you don't have it, you need to get it. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, I'll see you thank next you. week. Okay, thank you for joining. Thank you for your participation. We feel blessed and a community that cooks together. Stay together. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.